Hello and welcome everybody, this is Roland for Graphic in Motion here on Video Hive. Today I want to present you my new paper box Polaroid portfolio profile template. Man, this name is really a tongue twister. You just have to try to say it 20 times in a row without a mistake. I cannot even say it one time. So I will give you as always a short introduction to this template. When you open up your project file, there are already three compositions open. And this is the audio composition, which is empty now, the style composition and the render composition. Into the audio composition, you have to import your audio or you should import your audio. You don't have to. There are a few things in this template which are driven by the audio. It's really only a very small animation, but you know, when you watch the preview video, you see here on the edge, there are these slight bumps and they are moving a little bit. And this is the animation which is driven by the audio. So whatever audio file you put in here will drive the animation for these bumps. It's not that important, you know, but it gives it a little bit of a randomness and helps to create this stop motion style. So to import your audio file, you just have to double click in the project area or you can also go through file move down to import, import file, then select one of your files. I will just go to the licensed music here and take one of the preview songs. This is the one I had in the preview and just put it in here. And now the animation of these bumps starts automatically. The next step you probably want to do is to customize your style. You maybe know this kind of styling from my last template, the grunge style motion design reel. I also had a similar way of styling the template and the look. Here you see there's one composition where you have one paper background and two textures in here. If you just want to change the color of it, you can just select the paper BG layer, go to effect controls and here you see I put on this photo filter I think it is a very easy way to change basic colors. Now I have the cooling filter 82 on, but if I want to make it, let's say like more cyan color, then I just take this and here I can adjust the density. And of course, if I want, then I can uncheck the preserve luminosity and then it looks like this. If I check it in my render composition, you see that the frame updates. And of course, what you could do is to import your own textures um, to create your completely unique look. I will just reverse that changes here and show you how to create the unique look. As always, we go to the project window and double click. And now we have to move to our texture folders or wherever you have your pictures or whatever you want to add in. And I just will go to my paper textures. These are many textures that I collected here from the internet. And now maybe I want to do it in some kind of a grandma style. So I just use this one, import it, put it on top. It's a little bit too small. So I will just right click, transform and fit to comp. And when I go back to my render composition, you see now I have this flower paper texture here. Well, this is more or less the way of styling this template. You see that you can create very creative things with it. And now I just want to show you how you can import your footage. And this is very easy too. So if you want to import your own footage, I also created a your footage folder, which is empty now. Here you can put in your footage that it's organized. The same with the audio. This one is empty also. And let's say you want to import your first picture, then you just open up the footage placeholders folder, double click on the footage one composition, and you see here is a Polaroid frame. This is only a guide layer to help you position your picture. And below there are two placeholder layers. So again, I will just double click on the project window to import something. Mm, I will just take a picture from here. Let's say that I want to use this origami JPEG for whatever. And I will just put it below the frame. In fact, it's not important where you put it because the frame is all, only a guide layer, so it will not render. But when you do it like this, you can position it better. Then I press S to scale it so that I can fit it in here. And 
I can delete the two layers down here. I don't have to, but I can also shut them off for now, go back to my render composition, and you see my picture is already here. You also can see that every uh, footage has a footage title below. On every of these frames is a title. So if you want, you also can customize these and type in your texts, you know. I didn't do it for the preview video because I thought it's really kind of a lot of work to put in 34 titles. So I just made, I just made these placeholders with the numbers. And if you don't want to use the footage titles, you also could just open up your titles folder. And now you see the footage titles one to 34. These are these small titles on the bottom of the pictures. If you say I will not need them and I just don't want to disable each of these inside the animation, you just can select all of them in the project window, select the first one, move down to the number 34, press shift and left click the last one and then just press the delete button. Be sure before you do that, that you save a backup copy of your project file. So in case that you need the titles later, that you still have a project file where they are inside. So I will delete them now and you see all are gone and I don't have to care about these titles anymore if I don't want. Now there are only these few titles left and these are the titles you can enter your information, you can customize, so to create your really unique animation. This one is the title one, so I will show you how to customize this. I just double click on the title one composition. Here you see again, I have this color cloud as a guide layer to help you to position your text. And then you just have to double click on the text layer and you can type in whatever you want. I used this template to create some kind of a social profile where I can present myself and tell people what I like. You could also use it for something completely different, for example, for a birthday or whatever. You could type in happy birthday. For example, if you want to do it for a friend and put in some pictures or whatever, then you can just position this. Now probably the spacing between the two lines is a little bit, little bit too high, so I will decrease it and put it here in the middle. And when I go back to the render comp, you see that it's updated. By the way, this background is really horrible. I just have to change it quickly. Okay. So this was the customization of the first title. Now if we move on to the next scene, you see that here you have in fact three title possibilities. The first one up here is this one. You can also just double click on it and then you see this cloud is also just a guide layer to help you position your text. And you also can just double click on text and enter whatever you want. I think I showed you already how this works. And the same with all the other titles. Okay, I will just give you one more hint about this template. You see that I often used these small icons or uh, sketches to, to design these things and give them this natural uh, analog look. If you want to change them, for example, maybe in the first picture, you know, maybe you don't like what you see here, then you also can change this very easy. I will just show you how to do that. So if you want to change them, you just have to take a look at the render composition. And here you find the layer which is called front paper. The front paper layer is this paper which turns away in the end and opens up our box. And if we just hold down Alt and double click, this is especially for After Effects CS3, then we can enter this composition and now you see all the elements that I put in here. So you can just, maybe you say, okay, I absolutely don't like Facebook, so let's get rid of this icon. You can see it here, it's quite small. I will increase the resolution a bit, then you just can disable it or I don't know, delete it 
and also you can scale move around the other ones and you can also put in your own sketches maybe you want to draw something in photoshop and just import it here and animate it or whatever i just wanted to show you how you can change this here the other icons from the other clouds you can find inside another composition i will also show you this quickly and this is the animation composition you have to move to the project window and just double click the first composition here this is the composition where all the animation is happening you see that there's a lot going on here these are all the layers which are animated for this template all the placeholders and all the icons and everything so if you want to change let's say these icons and sketches from the title here then we just have to search the title and the best way to do that is always to check with the disable button you know you just select and disable and then you exactly see what you're working on so we are just at this your name cloud here let's say we want to get rid of this crown so we hold down alt and double click in cs3 in cs5 you don't have to hold on alt anymore and now you are inside this composition and you can see that here there is the your name placeholder this is where you can enter your title when you open this up and below there are all these small icons and if you don't like the crown or so you can just disable it and put in something else and the same works with more or less any other title of course so if you want to change the this title we see this is the cloud 3 hold on alt double click and now we're inside here and we can delete disable or replace all the elements here okay i think that's it for now if you have any more questions feel free to email me through my video hive profile i hope that you really enjoy this template create some nice animations be creative and see you next time